Hey, what's going on guys? My name is George and this is SAS Master. Today we're going to check out Social Champ. So I've been testing out this social media scheduler and it's been working like a champ. So if you guys want to check out the deal, the link is going to be in the description. So what Social Champ does is let you schedule posts, but it has a little bit of more functions to it. Like you can also grab RSS feeds, you can have team members have the way to schedule, a, a little bit of more manipulation than other social schedulers. So let's check out and just do check out what it does. So this is Social Champ. First thing you have to do is add your account. So click on add an account and add whichever accounts you want to really work on. So you got Twitter, Facebook page, Facebook group, LinkedIn, LinkedIn page, Pinterest board, and Instagram. Now there's a little drawback now on Instagram because the way that you have to use Instagram is that when you post there, you get a notification on the app that you have, you have installed on your iOS or Android. And from there you go to Instagram and it does it. It's, it's pretty straightforward. It's not a big hassle. It just pops up and it gives you the image already ready to post and it lets you paste whatever you was written on the social champ right here. So pretty straightforward. All right. Once you added your accounts, I recommend that you head on over to right here. So just go to content and this is where you're actually going to create the content to schedule. So in this place, you would write what you want. So let's just say in this case, this is testing social champ. And let's just say, hey, you know what? Buy here in this link. I don't want to grab the image from the link. I want to add my own image. So I'll click right here. I'll click right here and I'll browse and I'll add this really cool guy that I found right here. Now, I found something really interesting in Social Champ that's pretty cool that you can actually edit the image from here. So you don't have to have like Photoshop or something else to actually edit. So if I hover over the image, I can actually view it or I can edit it. So I'm going to click on edit and we're going to wait for this to pop up. So check this out. You have a bunch of tools that you can use to actually edit the image. So you got the enhancer, like the auto enhancer. You can have effects frames, overlays, stickers, orientation, crop, resize, uh, a whole bunch of things. I'll even go right here to the right and it just gives you also Mimi's, Mimi's over here. So you got that right there. So it's pretty awesome to have all these tools right here. And what I'm going to do right now is just really, really fast. I'm going to crop it. Let's just say I'm going to crop it right here and I'll apply it and it's cropped. And if I want to change the color, I uh, like, hey, I want to make it black and white. Do I want a warm tint or fade? And you just apply it. And if you like what you've done, you save it. So it's, it's pretty cool. I'm gonna click save. It's pretty cool to have that and it re-uploads it and you have it there. I think it's a pretty awesome tool having it there and not having the hassle to do it somewhere else. So that's pretty awesome. So once you decide what the text is going to be, what the image is gonna be, next thing you decide is where do you wanna post this? So if it's black and white, that means it's not selected. So if I select Facebook, I wanna do it there. I wanna do it to this fan page. I want to actually do it to a Facebook group. I can do it here over there. And if I want to go Instagram, which will actually then it's selected and we'll select those three for now. So once you selected the profiles that you want, next thing you got to do is if you want to post right now, it's already selected by default. That means it's just going to post really quick. And the next option we got is the queue. So queue means if you have already selected your calendar and how you want these to be posted, that's how you would do it. It would, it would queue it to the next post. So if you say, Hey, I only want to post between these hours and just Monday through Thursday. Well, it's going to queue it in those days. So if today is Saturday and you say that your queue is from Monday to Thursday, well, it's going to queue it on Monday. And if you already have something on Monday, it's going to queue it for the next one to on Tuesday or the next hour that you have. So that's pretty cool. And if you want to queue it, it can, uh, it can like move the rest. So it's going to queue it now to the next available post to the next available queue. And it's going to move the other ones forward. So that's pretty awesome to have. And the next one, obviously with schedule, right? So schedule, just to select the date from the calendar and it's easy as pie. So right now what we're going to do is just post right now, post that right now. We're going to accept. Yay, we just posted on multiple platforms for you. So that was pretty easy and straightforward. It just did everywhere. So that was pretty awesome. And next thing we have available, well, let's just go through. We got the teams. So in team members, you can add people that you want. So what's pretty cool is that you can select the email from the person of your team, a worker, a member, a friend, or whatever you want. 
And once you've selected the email, you select which ones of these do you want him to work on. So you want him to work on some and not all. You can do that. So maybe some are more sensitive than others. So you have that option. And in this case, I'm going to show you really quick how that works. So let me jump into over here. So this is one of the ones I've created and this is how it would look. So I created a second account and you go to shared and they only have available to post on these three accounts. So see how easy that was. So that's how I, that's this team member right here with that email. So he's a, he's accepted the invite and he has the access to those emails to those profiles only. So how cool is that? Next thing we have is the recycle content. So you can recycle content that you've used before. So it's collections, you can name and description, and you can create it. And next thing you got is the campaign. You can create a campaign right here if you want. So these are the the slots that you can have for Q. Next thing we have is link shortening and tracking. So if you want to go a little bit more in depth of what you can do with Social Champ and actually have some analytics of what's going on, you can connect to Bitly and you can see if people are clicking on your social post, when have they clicked, what browser are they using, from what country, what city, what IP, a whole bunch of information that you can have connecting your Bitly account right here. And you also have Google Analytics campaign tracking. So you have that enabled or disabled. If you enable it, you get more options. So in this case, we're going to disable it for now. And we have this pretty cool option, which is auto post RSS feed. What is this going to help you with? Well, let's just say you have no one to help you out post content and your profiles are pretty much empty. So what are you going to do? Well, you can select RSS feeds. These are like default right here that you can select. You can turn them on and you can turn them off. So if I turn it on, it's going to say how many posts do we want to do? So I just want to say one post per 24 hours and it's going to post it automatically. And I select which profiles I wanted to do it with. So how awesome is that? Well, if you don't like the, the RSS feeds that, that social champ provides to you, you can add your own RSS link. There's that website title and RSS and it'll grab it and it'll give you the options to actually uh, post it however, uh, however often that you want. So that's pretty cool because sometimes it's pretty hard to find content or write content and at least you don't have your social profiles empty. You got somewhere for people to go. So how cool is that? Next thing is the bulk uploader. So if you want to do bulk uploading, you can download the CSV template right here. And with that CSV template, what it does, it gives you the option to auto post a whole bunch of posts in one single, like pro, pro, uh, one single file really easy and next thing is the calendar so here in calendar you go you see what's going on so once you start scheduling and do a whole bunch of posts you're going to see your calendar right here you're going to be able to move them forward backwards or whatever you want next thing we got is suggestions you got these suggestions right here made by social champ and you can make a post out of these suggestions pretty awesome you can search for suggestions right here on whatever niche of business you have. So if it's cars, um, business, beauty, etc., you got that options there. And analytics. So once you start working on your post and you can have a whole bunch of analytics right here that you can see. So you can see repetitions, zero likes, shares, comments, and show details, all those options. So what I'm gonna show you last is how the Instagram thingy works. So what I've done, I already installed Social Champ on my Android phone. Like I said, it's also available on iOS. But let me show you really quick what that looks. I'm going to record the screen on the phone and just post it over here. So let's check it out. I am going to record. All right, guys. So now we're recording. And what we're going to do is we have already got the notification. So I'm going to click on this. And the notification is loading. So it's telling me, hey, it's that image. Remember that image in black and white? This is what I wrote and I'm saying, hey, you know what? All right, I like what I've done. And it gives you, if you want to do it direct, feed or story. So you can actually send it direct to a private message to someone. You can post it as a feed or a story. In this case, we're going to select feed. And okay, that's the image, correct. We're going to click next. We can also edit it here from Instagram. Click next and in right caption, you can see I already have by default, it was copied from the app. So now I got to do is share in this case i will do it whoops sorry i want to share it and there we go it's posted so no i don't want to rate if you guys want to follow me that's sas master official and there you go how easy and cool was that for you to actually schedule posts from social champ and have all those really cool options that not all social schedulers give you and some don't even give you that, those options so 
there you go. If you guys want to grab the deal that's going on right now, the link is going to be in the description. I thank you guys for watching. My name is George, and this is Sassmaster. See you guys later.